Do you remember when so many of us, myself included, said that Netflix's Cowboy Bebop was just destined for total failure? And we got proven correct following about two, three weeks, something like that, after season one came out. It was so poorly received across the board that it ended up being cancelled before it could even get a season two. That's truly a sentiment to how bad that show was. It was awful. In fact, it might be one of the worst adaptations of anything I have seen in quite a few years. It was shockingly bad, from race swaps to to characters such as Faye Valentine, who we're going to be talking about in this one, turning into a lesbian for absolutely no reason except for Netflix to pat themselves on the back. Truly cringy dialogue, awful plots, and total destructions of characters. In fact, you know, look at what they did to Vicious. Look what they did to every character in that. It was that bad. Daniela Prandea, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, who was cast as Faye Valentine. Uh, you may recall that leading up to the show, she wasn't too fond of the fans' criticisms of her character's outfit. And it must be stated again that people were criticizing the outfit, not her. It wasn't until we actually saw her as Faye that we had criticisms of her, because in my opinion, she didn't really play a great Faye Valentine. In name only, she was Faye. So the whole stigma around Netflix's Cowboy Bebop was terrible going into the show, and the content itself only proved to be even worse. But now, we have her out on the premiere, I believe this is, of the latest Jurassic World movie, which I've yet to see. I've heard it's actually kind of, eh, not that great, which is pretty disappointing. Talking about how she would love to come back as the character Faye for a possible Faye spin-off show. Let's, uh, let's listen to it for ourselves, shall we? Let's see how this goes. You're my Faye Valentine. I really loved Cowboy Bebop. And I'm sad, I'm sad that we don't have the second season, but I do want to know... If there was a chance at revival somewhere else, nope. what, where could we see Faye's story going from there? Well, I mean, I would love for Faye to have her own spinoff. You know, that was such a crazy experience, and I really wish that we were given a chance. You know, a lot of shows, they find their footing. That's just the truth of it. You, you find what? your footing even from the pilot episode into the season, and then season two, season three, you grow and you do. That's the classic argument of the show will be good in two or three seasons. Why can't the show be good at the start? And quite frankly, I only saw this show getting worse as it went on if it had following up seasons. So to me, this sounds like she kind of accidentally admitted that season one sucked asshole. Develop and you figure things out. And I think it's unfortunate that we didn't get the chance to do that. Um... You did get a chance and it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Now, granted, the entire thing is not her fault. Uh, her going after the fans before the show even came out did absolutely nothing to help that. And it was pretty interesting how uh, she was, we can only assume, told to take down the video of her antagonizing fans. And they also took down that other video, which she really should have kept in there. Hey guys, I just wanted to share my skin routine. And then leading into the show itself, like we said, it, it was terrible. So no, they were given a chance. But, you know... Unfortunately, I don't believe you played Faye Valentine. I think you played Faye Valentine in name only. Uh, everything about that, we lost all character motivation and development of Faye Valentine. Instead, we got Netflix's Cowboy Bebop. Now, I personally don't think there'll be a Faye Valentine spin-off, but who knows? Maybe she'll push for this. Maybe Netflix needs more content to put on their streaming service, which, you know, lost quite a few subscriptions with many controversies that have happened lately increasing the prices uh taking uh, sorry adding ads on and um taking the ability to share passwords so maybe they're desperate for content maybe they will give us a Faye valentine in name only spin-off what do you guys make of all this let me know in the comment section down below holy fuck that netflix cowboy bebop show sucked ass didn't it god damn